Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to Halloween Day 1. Today we are going to be making Coraline's Welcome Home Cake. I was like, Ugh, what the heck am I going to make this year? Coraline themed food for Halloween. And I was like, wow, the simplest thing ever. When Coraline first goes into the other world, the first like, dessert they give her is a cake. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to make this cake. Let's do it. <laughs> Just kidding, love myself. Just didn't know how crazy my roots were, LMAO. So, first we're going to need two cakes, a chocolate frosting and strawberry frosting, two nine inch pans, and some utensils. But I would recommend deeper pans, just an FYI. So first, we're going to prepare the cakes. And <laughs> Coraline reference with the sewing wheel. <laughs> There, I'm preparing the cake mixes because it is way much more money efficient to make that. And what not a better way to make this than watch Coraline with it on Netflix? Oh god, here's me pulling a bee bread. And then I cleaned it, mixed it by hand, and we're all good. Now I'm preparing the pans, spraying them. So I had to do four little cakes and make two cakes one layer and then make the two layers. So I recommend a deeper one, but not too deep so that it doesn't cook properly. But the circumference is pretty good for what it is. So yeah. So preheat it to whatever your oven or whatever the cake is supposed to, um, is supposed to be. So now it's a day later. I got my frosting out, got my four cakes leveled and they're cooled. If it's a if it's the same day, you need to let them cool. So I'm taking my first cake, um, and I'm just putting that on there, and then I'm putting the second one on, but these are going to act like one layer. So now I'm just doing like a little crumb coat. We're gonna entirely coat that. And then we are going to add on the second one and the last cake of the second layer, and do an entire crumb coat all around. Then I put that in the freezer and then added touch-ups later. So now we're all good to go. I'm going to clean up the rim, just so you know. So now you're going to take some strawberry frosting. This doesn't matter what texture it is. The chocolate one should probably be rich and creamy. This one is whipped, so it's like has more volume. So put that on top, just on top. Then I'm setting some aside to do the little drips down the side. Sorry, my head's in the way. It's been a while, and the new kitchen we have, like, just still trying to set up angles. So, yes, here we are. Okay, now I'm going to do the dots on the edges of the cake. Well, there's really one edge. It's a cylinder. Okay. Um, and I'm watching Liza Koshi A. There we go. We got it all done. Now I took some aside, and I'm going to... I dyed it red. Or you can just do red. And I'm going to try to make it as close as possible to the welcome home font just on the cake. And I think I did a pretty dang good job. The most significant letters, you want to make them the most obvious. On the real cake was flowers. There's 10 of them. I just did little swirls and X's. Then add the candles, light them, and you are done. Coraline's Welcome Home Cake. It's not perfect, but it freaking looks. Thank you all so much for watching Halloween Day 1. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't remember what's tomorrow, but you will see me there. So thanks for watching, and bye!